Hi, I'm Annie McKenzie, head chef at the restaurant at Drake's in Brighton. Today we're going to be cooking rice, basmati rice, 100% pure basmati rice from Tilda. Problems people have with cooking rice a lot of the time, it's not 100% pure rice. So you're going to get a mixed bag in there, so it's going to cook at different times and the rice, can, the grains aren't going to be whole and broken. So 100% basmati, as you can see, you're going to get all the right grains. They're going to be the same size, they're not broken, it's not going to go mushy, it's not going to release a starch into the water, which is going to give it that sloppy, sort of soapy look. Um, and as you can see, the grains are all whole, none are broken. It's that really high quality rice we're going to be using. So we're going to be cooking uh, pilaf rice with some sun-dried cranberries some pistachios, a few bit of shallots and some thyme. These are going to really work with the flavours of the basmati. The floralness is going to come through with the thyme, the fruitiness and the nuttiness are going to come through. We're going to mix these two and we're going to serve with that a turkey steak. Right, to start with, with this dish, we're going to soak the rice. Good idea to soak it for a good half an hour just to get the rice starting to soak up and plump up. All you want to do, just cover the rice, leave it for a good half an hour before you need it. It's going to wash any excess starch off it and just some bits off the outside. Maybe a cleaner product than you finally get up with cooking the rice and less mush in the water. So we're going to, I suppose we'll get started now. We're going to put, do some shallots or onions if you prefer. I'm just going to use three smallish ones. The other great thing, it's a one pot dish. Just with the oil and a little tiny knob of butter, which is just going to add flavour to it. So now we're just going to add the shallots straight through. Coat them all in butter. Soften them on the stove for two or three minutes. So right time we're going to pick the thyme. We're not going to chop it. We're just going to take it off the stalks and put it down. So you've got the nice leaves. Don't want to bruise it. Don't want to lose any of that lovely flavour of the fresh thyme. Because that lovely floral note is going to go really well with the basmati rice. And again, just stir that in. And we're going to get the, the rice. Seal the thyme and the shallots all coming through. That's all the flavour. So you want it nice and evenly mixed. Once it's coated, we'll get pistachios and the lovely sun-dried cranberries. For this recipe, we're going to use about a litre of stock, or the easiest way to say it is it's just covering the top of it. So now we're going to put the lid on. It's just come to simmer. Lid on, pop it straight into the oven. Middle fan oven, about 180. Leave it there 15 minutes. And we're going to take it out and rest it for another 10. So this is the rice we've taken out of the oven. You can see it's all lovely, light, fluffy as you break up. The grains are all really whole. The cranberries are swollen up. The uh, pistachio is still that lovely green colour. You can see the thyme and the smell of the rice. The fragrance of the basmati rice is coming really through. And the thyme and the butter and the stock. You can leave that to sit for a couple of minutes while we cook the turkey. So we're just going to get the pan nice and hot now. You want it really hot and smoking. Don't want to burn the oil, especially if you're using olive oil. Um, we'll get it really nice and hot, you can get that lovely colour on the cook it nice and quickly, keep it nice and moist. Just going to turn it over, get a nice golden brown colour. Pick it for another couple of minutes on this side. And we're going to finish with a little bit of butter. Again, it's going to add a richness to it and a nice bit of flavour. Don't want to burn the butter, but we're going to leave them to rest to let the muscles relax. Good 5-10 minutes. It's going to give you a nice tender turkey steak. And as you can see now, the pita is steaming, it's taken all the extra moisture. It's finished cooking, it's nice and light, no messing around with worrying about it boiling on the stove. It's just in the oven 15 minutes out, you can see how light and fluffy it is. It's just perfect way of cooking rice. Right, now the rice is rested, the turkey steak's all rested, we're going to start plating it up. So there it is, it's a pan fried turkey steak with the Tilda basmati rice, with turkey and cranberries cooked in a pilaf style.